Hey everyone, Midas here. It has been a very long time since I've played Pokemon Showdown on the channel. Obviously, for you guys, it wouldn't be that long since you only saw me play Pokemon Showdown on the one year anniversary video of my channel. But I haven't played this game for the channel for over a year. I'm going to see if I'm any better at all in Pokemon in over a year. I highly doubt it, but anyway, let's get right into this. Now, I'm just going to be doing random Gen 9 battles, because I just want to do regular gameplay here. So let's see here. Oh gosh, this is a terrible start. Hit Paladon's a ground type, and I'm four times weak to ground moves. That's great. You know, has a good defense. You want know Sandaconda. Oh, that's also good, because Sandstorm's going to help me. Nice, paralyzed it. That's even better, the Sandstorm's actually healing Sandaconda. Might as well go for the Stealth Rock move also. I guess I can just like start dealing damage. Now I think I'm just gonna have to sack Sandaconda. Either that or I'm lucky and it wakes up. Because, yeah, there's nothing I can really do here. Oh, okay, I guess I got one last hit hidden. Okay, I need something that's faster than this thing. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably gonna be faster anyway since it's paralyzed, but I'm gonna go for Ice Punch with Medicham. Oh gosh, it's gonna be stuck with Choice Band though, so that means it's only going to be able to use ice punch then but at least that's probably going to do good damage unless it sends in a fire type in which case that's just gonna be sad it calyrex it's psychic and ghost oh no that's not good oh man i'm also slower too yeah this is not gonna end well oh gosh it's special attacks increasing yeah i have no idea how i'm going to counter this thing yeah, i'm just gonna go for earth power and hope for the best yeah this thing is way too op and yeah it's gonna outspeed i wonder is Sala is salazzle faster it actually is okay so as long as i outspeed it then i should be able to take it out so flamethrower nice there it goes okay sui and arcanine is of course it's also a rock type but now's a time to send out slow king now was not the time to send out slow king i want to send in sizzlezar or whatever it's called okay at least i can take off its item oh gosh yeah this is not good i might actually just go down oh yeah especially with that thing it's not even a good idea to terrestrialize because i don't have any flying type moves and plus it would use a rock move so yeah my best chance is flamethrower and great as extreme speed maybe i can stall with substitute you know use protect at this point i'm just going to be as annoying as possible you know i'm going to use protect again man i actually could take it out if i was able to use toxic but I don't think there's a chance for me to do that because the moment I use it, it's knocking me out. Did it work again? Oh my gosh, it actually did. Okay, now I'm gonna use substitute again. <laughs> oh man. At this point, I'm just being petty. Oh man, there I go. Darn. All right, let's see here. What are we dealing with? Get. Oh wow. So I guess I won. All right, now an actual next battle. So I have Haunch Crow versus Quavicol. I wouldn't be surprised if they switched out, but I don't want to risk them not switching out and then doing a non very effective move, so I'm just going to use Brave Bird. Yikes. Okay, luckily that did lower its defense, so that might actually help. Okay, I think we're just going to end up taking each other out. Yep. Now, what would be the best bet here? Okay, Dragon types are consistently pretty good. Honestly, yeah, this isn't too bad. Oh, man, especially because it has close combat. Heck, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use Dragon Dance. Oh, no! That's not good. Come on, it even dropped my attack, too. Okay, just gonna go for close combat now. Great, didn't take it out. Okay, yeah, that was kind of a risky play. Okay, luckily, most of these Pokemon are faster than Mavos Stiff. I would go for the Stealth Rock, but I'm not gonna chance it, so I'm just gonna go Earthquake. But this turn, I am going to try and use Stealth Rock. Yeah, now is definitely time to use it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. Okay, at least I got Stealth Rock. Now, I'm going to go for Stone Edge, but I doubt I'm gonna make it. Not surprised. But now, oh gosh, Typhlosion. Let's try out Eruption. Because, you know, Fire Blast does have a chance of missing, and I don't want to go through that risk especially since this guy is currently at an advantage okay good that was actually kind of a smart idea to terrestrialize so that they would only have a two times weakness but luckily it was still strong enough i'll just switch into banette because i don't want to take a water type move from this thing oh no gosh i really regret this banette is gonna go out you know what I'm just gonna get a little bit of damage off hey never mind banette's somehow still alive iron jugulus you know what i'm just gonna sack banette not gonna really do anything here okay uh, at least i really resisted i thought for sure that it was gonna do no damage and okay, i'm gonna send out typhlosion again okay i'm gonna go for a run oh no great that did almost nothing this is not good actually if i terrestrialize it my gosh of course it's steel move is super weak but if I terrestrialize it, it is going to be a bit better. So here we go. Okay, good. That's doing good damage. I'm not sure if I'm faster. Okay, good. Oh no, it has it has life warp. That's making it more powerful. But I'm not sure if it's going to survive these next few turns. Okay, that's doing good damage. But man, this thing is not faster at all. Wait, bullet punch is a priority move. Oh my gosh, they forfeit. Yeah, I'm taking that win. Man, 
Scizor was definitely the MVP of that round. Wow. Why is it that I always have like the worst start physically possible? Of course I start with a grass type against an ice type. Okay, I'm just gonna go for U-turn. I know Steel is super effective against ice, so I'm gonna head for Tinkaton. I'm gonna use Knockoff to get rid of its uh, item, and then I'm gonna go for Gigaton Hammer. Unfortunately, it did set up a lot of spikes, so you know that's not great. Is Zapdos gonna be affected by the spikes? Okay, good, it actually was it because it's a flying type. Now, the best move to use here is going to be the only one that isn't going to be resisted or won't do anything, which is a heat wave here. Okay, nice, I burned it. That means its attacks are going to do a lot less now. And I'm pretty sure Sandy Shocks is a physical attacker too, so that's really good. Oh, okay, that's great. But luckily, now I can use Discharge. Oh, wow, I feel really dumb right there. Okay, heat wave again, and now they should take it out. Now, I have no idea what they're going to send in next, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zapdos goes down this next turn. Okay, Floatzel, yeah, it's definitely going to outspeed. Yeah, not sure how good of an idea this is, but I'm going to send back in Jumpla. It has no damaging grass type move. That, that's great. Okay, I'm just going to go for Acro. Oh, cool. of course, I forgot. That's four times super effective. I'm going to bring in back Tinkaton. Oh, gosh. Gigaton Hammer. Good it resist that. Play rough. Now, it is going to probably go down because of its life orb. Wait, please, please work. Come on, it just has to do 7% damage. Let's go! Hello? Is anyone there? Okay, he just wasn't there anymore, so I won, I guess. Even when I actually get good Pokemon. Just look at this. I'll send in Slacking. Guess I'll just go for Earthquake. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be able to do anything this turn because it is Slacking. Now, luckily, it's faster. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately, it's Truancy is going to kick in again. So, yeah. Oh, come on, of course. This is literally the perfect Pokemon to take out with Earthquake, and I can't use it. You know, I can just send back in Rayquaza and just go for Earthquake here. I'll head to Roaring Moon. You know what? Since it is going to be Stab, I'll use Outrage. Nice. Now, I just got to hope that this trainer doesn't have another Fairy type, or else Roaring Moon is screwed. Okay, that's not better. Oh, no. Its ability means I can't switch out. Girl, I got confused, too. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. Now, I'll send in Arcanine, which luckily did uh, lower its attack, and I'm going to go for Flare Blitz, because... Oh, come on. Now, how good this switch is depends on what type of move it uses. I really hope it uses a Ground-type move. Oh, come on. Out of all the things that it could have used, it used Toxic. You know what, Rayquaza is going to be taken out by the Toxic, might as well do as much damage as I can. Oh my gosh, it has Recover too. You know what, I'm going to go for Extreme Speed. That did not do a lot. Earthquake? Wait, what? Okay, I think it must have some ability or item that made it faster. That's great. Okay, I'll send in Houndoom. He's going to switch this turn, so I'll use Nasty Plot as a big brain move. See what I mean? And now I'm going to go for Dark Pulse. Oh my gosh! Wait. Okay, I'm gonna terrestrialize. Now, he's probably going to use a fairy move since he terrestrializes to the fairy type, right? That would make sense. So if I terrestrialize into a fire type, then I won't be affected with super effective damage, and also Fire Blast will do more since, you know, he's a full fairy type now. I should just stop speaking. Okay, Arcanine, come on, get him with the extreme speed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You know what, at this point, Flare Blitz is the best move. Oh my gosh, of course. Yeah, because Quagsire is no longer a water type. Wapple, that's great. I so I just go Flare Blitz again. There's not really much I can do. Ice Pond, no, it took me out, that's great. And there I go. Well, it was a lot of fun playing Pokemon Showdown again. Hopefully in the future, I can continue playing this game. And yeah, this was just really a lot of fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, check out some of my other content. And if you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.